before I, may I walk through you both? Thank you. Before I continue, I see in the audience, you know, I remember when like, let's say someone's playing at a club and all of a sudden Michael Jackson shows up or Bruce Springsteen or the Beatles. You have to invite them on stage. We got a big mocker live from Brooklyn. Rob, please come up. It's your, you're on. Rabbi, please, please, let me, everyone, he doesn't even want to come up. Please force him. Please force him. Please force him. Please Coleman, Cal Rob Coleman from Brooklyn. Beautiful. Not since the Beatles. Mazel Tov. We know that the Chosen and the Kale had already the Chupa Kiddushin in New York a few months ago, and they are already married, and it's just a very, very special moment to have a ceremony in the Holy Land, Israel. I'm going to say something that will take me, Simon, 60 seconds. And I know Simon likes jokes. <laughs> so I'm going to say a joke to Simon, but then I'm going to say something serious. So the joke is, in a, in, a house, in, a, in a wedding, you're always dancing, right? I'm not going to stay for the dancing because my mother passed away a few months ago. So by the year of, before, until the year is over, we don't dance. But I'm going to say something about dancing. Do you know Me'a Sharim? It's a neighborhood in Yerushalayim where all the very strictly Haredi people are living. So there's a family of 18 kids. In the same, in one family, 18 kids and two parents, they were all professional dancers. And they never went to any dancing school. And they were asked once, how can you dance so nicely? And they said, they live in Me'a Sharim, 18 kids, two parents, in a very little apartment and one bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, dance the whole night, dance, dance, because it's a big, big, big day. For the host and the Kale. And listen, this Sunday is the first month of Elul before the high holidays. And do you know what Elul is about? Ani le dodi ve dodi li. I am to my love and my love is to me. This is what Elul is about. So this Elul is really the beginning of a very new life for both of you. That, like you said before, David. And the Shem should give you, do you know that the Chitan did a very big mitzvah today before the ceremony, he did tefillin, and he did it before already, it's not the first time, and the reason why he did it, that's because he felt that he wants to do it, right? Nobody forced you to do it, yeah, not this time. And Hashem should give you a very, very, very good life, and a real Jewish life. You have, I met your family from here, and I know your family, and I know your parents. For many years, I didn't met real Jewish people like Simon and Stephanie. <laughs> For many years, why? Because Jewish is not only about the action, it's about something that no one can take away from you when you are Jewish. And by Simon and Stephanie, but this family, you can see it. And Mazel Tov again. And Lechaim, I'm not saying Lechaim and whiskey or beer because my rabbi doesn't let me drive and drink. And remember that, thank you, Rabbi. This is why I usually first drink and then I drive. Anyway, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov. Let's hear the comments. And let me tell you, before I came here, especially for the Hasinet, together with Rabbi Levy, that is in the back, Rabbi Levy. and he is my rabbi, and the head of the Circle K, OK Kosher, and everybody knows what Simon did for the Jewish nation in the New York State a year and a half ago for the first time, and then this past Passover for the second time, and it's going to go on in Mir Hashem for all, forever. And he did something with the Mechirat Hametz that he made available all beer for Jewish people to drink after Passover and thank you Simon take the mic 
It was my pleasure to do it, and thank you for teaching me how to do it. So it's really all credit to Rabbi Kalman Weinfeld. Thank you very much. Mazel tov. Thank you. Thank you. Let's hear it one more time for Rabbi Kalman. Thank you. Very good. So good. You're beautiful, Rabbi. Was that a minute? Seriously, was it? It was good. He killed it. The rabbi killed it. All right. Back to the service. But that was very good. And thank you, Simon, for having kosher. Uh, I got rid of all the chumets and I had kosher for Passover. <laughs>